Welcome to the video. Today we will learn basic English sentences with a simple story. You will feel happy learning English from zero with easy English Hebreo. Chapter one, a strange island. Once upon a time, a man named Edward was on a ship sailing across the big blue ocean. The weather was calm and the ship moved smoothly over the water. Edward was on a long journey, but he did not know what would happen next. He enjoyed the peaceful sea. Suddenly, a big storm came and the waves grew tall, shaking the ship. The sky turned dark and the wind howled loudly. The ship started to break apart and Edward was thrown into the wild ocean. He held onto a piece of wood to stay afloat. After many hours, the storm passed and Edward saw a small island in the distance. He was tired, but he swam toward the island with all his strength. When he reached the shore, he collapsed on the sand, exhausted but happy to be alive. The island was quiet and covered in trees. Edward looked around and saw no other people. He wondered if anyone lived on this strange island. He decided to explore the island and see if he could find help or food to survive. As Edward walked through the trees, he heard strange noises coming from the jungle. The sounds were unlike anything he had ever heard before. He felt nervous, but kept walking deeper into the island. The jungle was thick and the path was difficult to follow. After a long walk, Edward saw a large house in the middle of the island. The house looked old, but it was the only building he had seen. He walked closer to the house, hoping to find someone who could help him. When Edward knocked on the door, a man opened it and looked at him with surprise. The man introduced himself as Dr. Moreau, and he welcomed Edward inside. Edward was relieved to meet another person, but something about Dr. Moreau seemed strange. Dr. Moreau told Edward that he had been living on the island for many years. He was a scientist and he spent his time working on secret experiments. Edward listened carefully, but he felt uneasy about the things Dr. Moreau was saying. As they talked, Edward heard more strange noises from outside the house. He asked Dr. Moreau what the sounds were, but the doctor only smiled. He told Edward not to worry and said that the island was safe. The next day, Dr. Moreau invited Edward to explore the island with him. Edward followed the doctor, curious to see more of the island. As they walked, Edward saw unusual animals that looked different from any animals he had ever seen before. 
Dr. Moreau explained that he had created these animals in his laboratory. He had been experimenting with animals, trying to make them more like humans. Edward was shocked by what he heard. He realized that the strange noises were coming from these creatures. Edward began to feel afraid of Dr. Moreau and his experiments. The creatures looked sad and confused, and they moved in strange ways. Edward wondered what Dr. Moreau was really trying to do with these animals. One evening, Edward met one of the creatures up close. The creature looked like a mix between a human and an animal. It spoke to Edward in a low voice, telling him that it was once an animal, but had been changed by Dr. Moreau. Edward was horrified by the creature's story. He realized that Dr. Moreau's experiments were dangerous and cruel. The creatures were trapped on the island unable to leave or live normal lives. Edward knew he had to escape from the island. The next day, Edward told Dr. Moreau that he wanted to leave the island. Dr. Moreau refused to let him go, saying that the island was his home now. Edward felt trapped and scared, knowing that the doctor was not going to let him leave easily. Edward decided to make a plan to escape the island. He watched the creatures carefully, hoping to find a way to sneak past them. The jungle was thick and dangerous, but Edward knew he had to take the risk to find freedom. One night, when the moon was full, Edward saw his chance to escape. Dr. Moreau was busy with his experiments, and the creatures were asleep. Edward quietly left the house and ran into the jungle hoping to reach the beach. As Edward ran through the jungle, he heard footsteps behind him. One of the creatures had woken up and was following him. Edward ran faster, his heart pounding in his chest. He knew he had to keep going if he wanted to survive. When Edward reached the beach, he saw a small boat tied to a tree. He quickly untied the boat and pushed it into the water. Just as he got into the boat, the creature appeared watching him from the shore. Edward rode away from the island as fast as he could. The waves were strong, but he kept rowing, determined to escape. He looked back at the island where Dr. Moreau and his creatures were left behind. Edward felt relieved to be free. After many hours of rowing, Edward saw another ship in the distance. He waved his arms, hoping the ship would see him. The ship came closer, and the people on board pulled Edward to safety. He was finally free from the island. 
Edward told the people on the ship about his experience on the island. They listened to his story with shock and disbelief. No one could believe that Dr. Moreau had been creating creatures in his secret laboratory. As the ship sailed away, Edward looked back at the island one last time. He knew that he would never forget what had happened there. The island was full of strange secrets, but he was glad to leave it behind forever. Edward returned home, but he could not stop thinking about the creatures he had seen. He wondered what would happen to them now that he was gone. The memory of the island stayed with him, and he knew he would never be the same again. The people on the ship helped Edward return to his city, where he tried to forget about the island. But every night when he closed his eyes, he heard the strange noises from the jungle. The creature's faces haunted his dreams. Even though Edward was far away from the island, he felt like a part of him was still there. He could not escape the feeling that something terrible was still happening on the island. The island had changed him in ways he could not explain. Edward decided to write about his experience on the island. He wanted to warn others about the dangers of Dr. Moreau's experiments. He hoped that by sharing his story, people would understand the danger of playing with nature. As he wrote his story, Edward remembered every detail of the island. The creatures, the jungle, and the strange noises all came back to him. He felt both fear and sadness as he thought about the creatures that were still living on the island. In the end, Edward finished his story and shared it with the world. He hoped that his words would make people think about the dangers of science without limits. The island of Dr. Moreau would never be forgotten. And so, Edward's adventure on the strange island came to an end. He had escaped from Dr. Moreau and his creatures, but the memory of that place would stay with him forever. The world was full of mysteries, but some secrets were better left alone. <laughs>